Hello and welcome to the boot room where Andy and Stu are here to look ahead to Ipswich Town's trip to Hull on Tuesday night. Another game against another League One promotion contender. Two nil-nil draws for Ipswich over the last week. Improved against Oxford, really poor against Northampton a week ago. Better is needed if they're to get the better of Hull and they need to start picking up wins to close the gap on those playoff places. Okay, so if you if you look at these two teams over the last week, they couldn't be more different. Two nil draws for Ipswich, eight goals scored for Hull. That's going to be a big factor in this game, isn't it, Stu? Goals. Yes, I think so. On one hand, Hull have got their entire first choice midfield out. George Honeyman, their key man when it comes to assists, was stretched off on on the weekend. Doherty went off injured too. Captain Smallwood is already sidelined. So there's an opportunity there for Ipswich in midfield. But then I look at the goals, as you say. Ipswich really struggling for them. I think in terms of goals scored per game, there's only four teams that have got a worse record and they're all teams right down at the bottom. Hull have shown they can score goals. Um, while Edwards is Ipswich's top scorer on five, they've got Wilkes on 17 in all competitions. They've got Josh McGuinness with 10 in all competitions. They've got Lewis Potter with eight in all competitions. That front three is a concern for me. So team news, Guion Edwards is the name that may be returning to the Ipswich Town 18. He's he's missed the last couple with injury niggles. He's still Ipswich Town's top scorer on five, but I'd imagine he's not going to come straight back into the starting 11. He might have to make do with a place on the bench, but it'll be good to have him back. More interestingly is whether the likes of James Norwood, Teddy Bishop, Keenan Bennett, even James Wilson and Toto Nciala are good to go again after coming into the side at the weekend after spells out themselves. Norwood pushed on to 81 minutes, but they're being careful with him. But He brings them such a greater goal threat. It might just be that they're, they're good to go with him. They feel like they have to. Matt Gill spoke this morning to stress that he thinks they, they should all be itching to play, but they're going to be assessed prior to kickoff. So it'll be interesting to see which 11 Ipswich do put out at Hull on Tuesday. All of which leaves me to have a little stab at the starting 11. I think it will be same back five again after the clean sheet against Hull. Um, Dazel in midfield, as always, still no Flynn Downs to call upon as he serves out his two-game ban from the red against Northampton. I wonder if Josh Harrop might play as a, as a number eight, one of those slightly deeper lying midfielders. Um, Gwion Edwards, I reckon they might just chuck him into the team, see how he goes on, on the left. Alan Judge to continue on the right. I think Norwood would be a big risk. I think maybe Aaron Drynan stylistically would be the closest thing to him to try and sort of battle up front. And then that would see Troy Parrott continue in that little number 10 role. So the final job in the boot room is the prediction. Uh, how positive are you feeling about Ipswich Town's chances in this game, Stu? Not not very, in short. Um, we've talked about the, the difference in goal threat from the two sides and we know that Ipswich have continually come up short in these sort of games. And despite the positives from the weekend, you can't help but feel that the one step forward generally gets followed by one or two steps back from Ipswich Town. So um, I think they'll lose this by a narrow margin, 2-1. I'm feeling a tiny bit more positive. I think the centre-back pairing of Nciala, Wilson with with Chambers and Kenlock either side might be better placed to, to deal with McGuinness down the middle in particular. I think they can limit Hull to one goal. And I'm going to say optimistically that Ipswich will score one themselves. 1-1 one, one is my prediction. <laughs> 